اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now that you know that Smart PLS new version Smart PLS 4 is going to be out soon. Although I've done three or four videos on basic introduction to Smart PLS 4. I think a complete series would be helpful for young and mid-career researchers. From now on, you will see a number of different lectures on how to use Smart PLS 4. As Smart PLS 4 is gearing up to be released soon, I hope this lectures or the lecture series will be finished well before the Smart PLS 4 software is out for scholars. And you will have a complete series to watch and learn how to use Smart PLS 4. Now most of the times we know or we have heard this term that I have a framework, I've collected the data. but i want to start using sem that is whether i want to use smart pls or seminar there are videos on seminar on the channel as well that is a package in r to perform pls scm analysis in r but in this series we our focus is on smart pls now this is the model let's say you've got this model here or maybe a model similar to this one and you would like to test this whole model using sem primarily in smart pls now how would you test such a model this is a higher order construct this is a higher order construct these are lower order constructs these are the two moderators lower order constructs now i'm taking this one here as reflective higher order construct and this one here as formative higher order construct just for the sake of understanding that how reflective reflective higher order constructs can be used and how reflective formative higher order constructs can be used the approach that i will follow is that it will be a step by step approach to model design validate and test the proposed model each step will be a combination of theory and how to practically implement the theoretical knowledge to test the proposed model After each step is performed the scholars will be guided on how to report the results from smart pls4 in a research paper or thesis For the background topics like what is scm hypothesis development variables the difference between mediator and moderator I will be sharing different videos It is extremely important that those who are interested in learning sem using pls4 have clear idea about these concepts so if you're not clear please watch these videos well before you start watching this whole series now how do you develop a research framework just as the framework that i presented earlier if you want to develop such a framework here are a few videos in the playlist that you can watch and learn how to develop that particular framework Now if you want to know what is hypothesis and how the hypothesis shall be formatted how they are developed you will watch these videos i'll share the link in the description now in this example let's see these are my sample hypothesis there is a significant and positive impact of internal marketing on organizational support now this is my direct relationship internal marketing and organizational support so there is a significant and positive impact of internal marketing on organizational support internal service quality mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance organizational support mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance for moderation let's say my hypothesis could be role ambiguity moderates the relationship between culture and organizational performance such that higher role ambiguity will dampen or weaken the positive relationship between culture and organizational performance now it's not just enough that you write that role ambiguity moderates the relationship you have to explain how it moderates hence we've got these hy sample hypothesis similarly you can propose all your hypothesis in the next session i'm going to talk about how to enter the data maybe in spss or excel thank you very much